everyone and welcome back to Heather's Happy Stitches. I'm Heather and today we are doing crochet for Bur Don't Get Burnt Out Tuesday. Now <coughs> this isn't really going to be a tutorial. I mean I'll give instructions of what I'm doing and how I'm doing it but uh, I'm not really going to uh, it's not going to be like a really comprehensive tutorial because I don't want to make this into work. I'm making this for as a blanket for <coughs> a friend of mine and she uh, so I haven't seen this friend in like 20 years like almost because her her mom died almost immediately after uh, we graduated from high school and she ran away so she's been living out of state with this this person or that person so we haven't really uh, seen each other for a while and uh, we reconnected uh, not long ago. So, um, and I, you know, I was giving her a rundown of everything that I was been doing. And she asked if she could have a crochet blanket. And I was like, sure. I mean, because I like making things for people that want and appreciate them. But like, that's why I don't, I don't really make things for the house anymore because uh, my mother-in-law, she doesn't want to display things. She, she thinks it makes it look uh, trashy. I don't know. That's her opinion, not mine, obviously. But uh Yeah, she uh she asked if she could if I would make her a blanket, and I said, "Sure." <sighs> so, this one I'm doing is kind of based off of uh Fiber Spiders kaleidoscope granny square blanket but kind of not either because I'm not cha I'm not going to be changing colors as often so like the big square down here I only did in one color and then this this triangle and all these triangles are only going to do in the one color <laughs> but you should definitely go watch his um, tutorial if you want to uh, know how to make like the traditional, what am I doing? If you want to make like the traditional kaleidoscope granny square. Um, but anyway, uh, so she I told her that I did some YouTube um, and she she watched a couple and she asked me why I didn't talk in my videos and I figured other people would want to know too so I mean after I told her I'm obviously telling you now um, the reason I don't talk in my videos or beyond the minimum is because I don't have anything to say, not really. And what I would say is basically me complaining. And nobody wants to watch somebody complain for a half an hour or 45 minutes or what, however long you want or however long the video is. And I mean, I understand that the re because I don't talk in a lot of my videos, a lot of people are turned off. But like, I do my videos 
the way I would want to see videos. Like, because when I'm, when I do crafts, I read books and I read, or I listen to like an audio book or I watch a YouTube video or whatever. I don't sit here and talk to myself when I'm crafting with, when a video is not on. So I do it when, or when I'm not recording. So why would I do it when I am recording? I mean, yes, it, it can be cathartic to, you know, be able to vent it. But at the same time, I don't want to vent my dirty laundry to everybody in the world. As much as I would like to on some points, I do I don't, you know, nobody needs to know my personal business. I mean, I let, I talk about Jaden. And I talk about Jeff sometimes and I talk about Phil and, uh, Mill, which is mother-in-law and father-in-law. If you don't know because it's easier to say Mill or Phil as opposed to mother-in-law or father-in-law. Um, I talk about them, but like, otherwise, I don't want to com I don't want to complain about everything all the time. Because as much as I may want to complain, Like, it's just a passing thing. And if I sit down and put it on the video and then put it onto the internet, and that everybody's gonna see and know, and like, what if I have a change of heart? Like, I'm pretty positive I will never, if you don't know, I will link, I will put a card here, I think it is or here, I don't know where it is in the camera, but I will put the card for the only time that I have ever spewed my dirty laundry onto YouTube. And that's not something I regret doing. But a lot of the things that I would complain about or would want to complain about, I'd probably regret putting up later. And then I'd end up taking them down and that would be no good and blah, blah, blah. So that is why I don't talk during my videos. It's because I don't, I don't want to complain about everything. And then beyond complaining, I don't have anything to say. And yes, you're probably thinking I could do the tag things and I do do the tag things when I'm live and sometimes I do uh, record my lives and repost them but a lot of those things I don't want to do that all the time I don't know I, I like the way I do my channel And it doesn't matter to me that I don't have a lot of followers or sub subs. It doesn't bother me because I'm not doing it for the subs. I'm putting out there what I would want to see. And because I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one that would want to see it. And I mean, if I'm wrong, I'm going to continue to do it the way I'm doing it because it's the way I like doing it. So that 
is why I do not talk in most of my videos. Um, let's see. Uh, so what I'm doing here is I'm just doing a basic granny stitch. It's pretty simple to do, uh, or a granny square stitch. <sighs> um, so it's just chain one, double crochet three. So you chain over, or, God, it's been such a long time since I've done a tutorial. I'd have, I have to think of what it's called. So it's a, uh, yarn over that's what it's called yarn over you go into this big gap here you grab your yarn pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over go in grab the yarn pull through yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Chain one. It's as simple as that. And then the corner is you do a cluster of three double crochets. That's what these are called, clusters. chain two. Ooh, got a fuzzball. And then you go in the same hole you did your first cluster in and do another cluster of three. So I have done I want the traditional kaleidoscope blanket before I sent it to my sister. I think I have some pictures of it. If I do, I will insert them here. But if not, I will not insert the picture, obviously. Now, do I miss doing the tutorials? Sometimes. Do I wish I hadn't given up the 365 Days of Granny Squirk challenge? Absolutely not. Because it stressed me out so much I got turned off to everything. And I mean everything. For that year or so that I didn't post anything, I wasn't doing any crafts. I was just so burnt out on everything because I had put so much stress on myself to do that and along with everything else that I do uh, around the house that hey, get out of there sorry cat uh I had put so much stress on myself to do that on top of everything else that I do because I'm a caregiver for my uh, my mother-in-law and father-in-law and I didn't realize that a combination of, okay, when we get to this point, I'll finish my story in a second. When we get to this point, you go into this here, this section here, do a full, full nether cluster And then you count three, one, two, three. I usually just go into this, this space and then you slip stitch it down and then you chain three, one, two, three. And then you go into the next space, slip stitch. And then you turn your work 
and then back into this gap here that you created, you start over. <laughs> uh, but I had stressed myself out so much because along with the four or five hours that I need to take care of my in-laws every day. Um, I was taking care of Jaden and uh, then crocheting when I could, which was usually at night. And then immediately turning around and editing, which took just as long as it did to crochet. Because what people what people that watch only tutorials or YouTube or things on YouTube about crochet is it takes a long time to do and to edit the videos especially a tutorial video where you're stopping all the time it takes just as long to uh, I got a nut it takes just as long to edit a video as it did to make the video. Because you have to watch it and make sure that uh, you're, all, you're in frame and whatnot. And if you're not in frame, you have to start over. And it just got to be so much and I stressed myself out so much doing it that I burned myself out. So I stopped. And then I didn't want to go back to it. That's why when I started back up again, it I didn't wasn't doing crochet. I started doing diamond painting. And then, but the difference this time is, is I'm not keeping myself to a stringent and timetable like I was before. Like every day I had to get one up. But I'm not now. I mean, uh, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays are usually my posting days. Um, I've added Tuesday onto that as a don't get burnt out Tuesday so that I'm doing something besides diamond painting. Um, so that I don't get burnt out on the diamond painting or any other thing that I do. Um, but as I'm sure some of you have noticed is, all right, let me map out my, my upload schedule. Okay. So we got Monday, Wednesday, and Friday or my normal drill with me, read to me's. And then Tuesdays are don't get burnt out. And then Thursday are haul videos. If I have, cause I don't have a lot of haul videos because I don't go shopping for crafts and things. And the only, usually the only time I go shop, what I go shopping for is groceries and nobody wants to see a grocery haul. Cause I wouldn't want to see that. So I'm not going to put it up. <coughs> And then Saturdays are any and all unboxing videos, like anything that I get throughout the week or if I, or if it's longer than what I think it should be, I will s separate it out and do more. But Saturdays are unboxing videos. And then Sundays are my nothing day. Sunday is the day that I, okay, where am I? Okay, 
so I'm in the corner. Okay, so since we're in the corner now, Yeah, okay, so I need to, I, there's nothing to, can you see that? Okay, so there's nothing to attach this to. So all I'm going to have to do is make a slip stitch and then, or just chain up. Right? <sighs> Hang on, let me check. Okay, so I looked. I was wrong. So we just stop here. So we just make a slip stitch. I don't have any scissors readily available. Maybe I do. Boom. So now we just start again. So we need to go this way. So we need to find the middle square. So this is the end here, and this is the end here. So we just can you see? Yeah. So go boom, a boom, 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 middle square. Okay, so we go into this one. chain one and then we move over to this one and then start working from there and now I forget what I was saying before we stopped I don't know. I really don't remember what I was talking about. <laughs> I mean, this is the f not the first time I've crocheted since since but uh the first time in a while and it's nice to know that it's like riding a bike
So, I, uh, I think I am done talking, so for however long I have left, I'm just going to put uh, ASMR Rain and Thunder in here. So I hope you enjoy that. Yeah, but I'm not doing sound right now. What's up? Oh yeah, sorry.
right, so I think that's where we will leave this here. So you can see now that I've connected the two triangles that it has fire alarm, hang on. So the boys were trying to make fish sticks and burned them, which is hilarious to me. It's not that hard to make fish stick. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna leave this here. I'm gonna go cook some dinner for the boys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And remember, you are beautiful. You are amazing. Keep being you. And have a good day.